I'm a grown Arad. My age, if you ask me in a month time, I will be able to say 70, but uh, I'm still under 70. It was very funny when we get when we got the vaccinations here in England. It was done by age. And I went and there was a group of people and the only common denominator we had was our age. And I went and saw a group of old people and I said, this is me. This is my age. very lucky. I was brought up in a very good arty home. I thought when I grew up everyone's an artist. I didn't know that some people are not artists. Uh, whether it's a musician, my brother is, was a gifted violin player and my parents sort of to avoid sibling rivalry. It was very important for them that one is a musician and the other is visual art. I grew up in, I mean, like I, like any, I don't know any, but uh, you're always trapped in the language you're born to, in the environment, in what what's around you. And although I had not much to rebel against, for some reason, my dislike for conventions was, uh, you know, as far as I remember myself was there. My only complaints about against my parents is they forced me to read one hour a day when I was, and in that one hour I did everything but reading. I pretended to read. Every time I did a, a drawing, I was, I think I was very good at sketching and drawing. My mother, who is a virtuoso artist, painter, she didn't say, oh, we'll be a great artist. She always said, oh, we'll be a great architect. She thought that architecture is a safer profession than, you know, uh, how wrong she was. So, yes, I did study architecture and I do. It was not one at the expense of the other. constraints I never I never put it like design I mean I, I never I never for me it wasn't uh, still there isn't a division between between uh, design and art and it was you know like you know Oscar Wilde tried to to work to to define art that it as not functional. But then he said some, he had something better that I can uh, relate to better. He said there's only two types of people in the world, charming people and tedious people. And I say that I can use that for objects or things. There's, look, there's two types of people, people with very good hair and people with very good hats. I wish I belonged to the first group. Sadly, I belong to the second. I have, you know, I make my hats. And uh, this one I made for Alessi. I have some, and there's, you know, you can tell the season. If it, this is, was still in winter, but uh, if this was a month later, you'd see a summery hat. In the in good days, it's ping pong. And also now, um, I'm a, maybe addicted, yeah, uh, to uh, Scrabble online, uh, a game called Word Feud. And I think it's my turn now against Dejan Sujic. And, and uh, too much, we play too much. It's like I took, I take the, hang on, hang on, Word Feud. 
um, word feud. Yeah, they and just throw the word said here, yeah. and and I have to reply to that. I, hopefully, I'll find a more cheerful word than said. He won the game against Rafael Nadal in Madrid, but it was only a technical victory. Uh, I wrote in my diary I won against Nadal, but it's bullshit. They say that uh, organic, yeah, organic design or curves and things. I like straight lines and curves in the same way. When I ran the design department at the Royal College of Art, I mean, we never used the word shoot. You should do this, you shouldn't do that. You know, it was, I, I don't like manifestos and I don't like instructions. People are different and uh, different things are good for different people. But, um, but don't listen to this advice either. I did several collaborations recently. Uh, one of them is when I did the curtain call at the Roundhouse. As soon as I realized how amazing and effective the whole thing is, I said I should keep it for myself and I invited lots of my friends to, to do a piece, like Christian Markley did, did a piece and Matt Collisho did it. I mean, many people did amazing and David Shrigley made a piece for it and it became like uh, I created the canvas for friends and colleagues to to join. Uh, ideas are never a problem. The problem is to know which ideas, which idea you give time to invest in and which you you put on the shelf to wait. Ideas are the easiest part, of the easiest chain in the whole thing. Ideas are no problem. I don't remember being stuck for ideas. I remember lots of ideas that uh, still didn't happen. Ideas that I, I believe in and, and it takes, it depends what it is, but normally things happen, but I have lots of ideas that I wish enjoyed more there. I mean, once a day. I mean, like, uh, it's uh, very funny. I mean, you, you caught me. I mean, I was in the middle of doing something now, drawing something that didn't exist yesterday. I was approached to do something for some something in Italy, some event. And so I had to sit down and start drawing, and I I got into it. And for now, for the last hour, I could give you this as the, as the answer. But tomorrow it will be a different answer. And people don't understand, but I I do so much because I'm lazy. I, I like I'm not a methodical person that goes into something and I uh, I jump from one thing to the other. In the beginning of the pandemic, we thought, I thought, I was working on, on covering cars, I don't know, with, with uh, jacquard weaving. And then the people with masks, and I thought, let's, let's put art on faces. Uh, let's, I don't know, this is, so we did uh, for charity, to raise money for the National Health, we did lots of, lots of, this is Albert Einstein, and and this is Jimi Hendrix, and uh, and uh, this is a sketch a bit of Shakespeare. Uh, it is the escargot. The escargot. It is a Nissan, sort of an homage to the Dashwood, to the French. Uh, Citroën Deschvaux, 
it is still i mean a car that every time i drive it people stop what is it first time when they opened the design museum in london it was on display and i really liked it then i saw i saw one and i i found that i can buy one it's a japanese car the japanese drive on the same side of the road as as in england so it was never properly important to to London or to England, but I drove one. And one day, uh, the design museum asked me, can we borrow your car? There's cargo for a show. And I said, what are you talking about? You have one in your storage. That's where they checked. Yes, you're right. Uh, when they raised money for the new design museum, uh, I was going to donate something for the auction. And half jokingly, I said, look, I'll give you my customized Fiat, because I customized the car for Fiat 500 in exchange for your escargo. And I said, we'll check. Yeah, it's possible. So, and then they did well with my, uh, with my uh, donation. And I got a car that was 30 years old with five meters on the clock and my mechanic, my garage came with, with some petrol and a battery and it started for the first time. And that's what I'm driving now. And it is sort of a car that's brand new, but it's 30 years old. I'm afraid of boredom, but not really because you know, there's always ways to amuse yourself. Here comes the sun. I'm reading now a draft of uh, a novel by my daughter. I hate, I don't hate, I'm bored, boredom. It is the you know, sameness and, and trends that dominate what people do that uh, I don't hate, but I'm bored by. Progressive kindergarten. Uh, my pencil. When I'm not working, there's the family here and there's um, limited life now. I mean, we don't, I mean, there's no, no parties anymore for now and no restaurants. And, but there's everyone around me got into cooking and food but me um, i'm not allowed uh, to interfere in the kitchen sunday routine is not the, the, diff, the big difference between the weekend and the other and the rest of the week is that there's less appointment less less zoom less conversation less so that, that side of, in the beginning of the pandemic, there was no difference between weekend, and, but now there is. Like this is, this conversation we're having now would not have happened on the weekend. So anyway. I mean, when you ask me what's the most expensive thing you bought, if it's normally a car, uh, that's what, apart from the homes but uh, and i think that the luxury that the cars offer you nowadays is slightly overrated i'm very very lucky to to have met castiglioni and ettore sozas and uh, and people, you know, was you know when I first started going to Milan, I got friendly with all of them, except one of them couldn't stand me, uh, Enzo Mari. I don't know why, but I read an article in an English newspaper, and the title was Ron Arad, pure shit. 
And I respect him. I like, I like him as a designer. No difference. This side. Bikes. Probably pins. Ready for life, for life, for life. You know this chair is done by someone called Ronard about 200 years ago, and I still, I don't know, I don't know. I'd like to see things I haven't seen before. Wow, look at that, that's, that's fantastic, that's, why didn't I think about it? That's what I'd like to see. And I don't see a lot of it. Um, improve things. <laughs>